Hello everybody, this is Adam on Pedram, presenting the first version of the Linear Agile Processor Cycle Accurate Simulator. This project was part of my PhD project in University of Texas at Austin and the Flame Group. My supervisors were Professor Robert Van de Gein and Professor Andreas Gerslar. The references for this version of the simulator and the details of the design are published in two publications in ASAP conference and IEEE transactions of computers special issue on energy efficient computing. We have evidence that the same baseline architecture can perform matrix factorizations, level 3 plus and even fast Fourier transforms with minor modifications and negligible overheads to the linear algebra core. The papers are in my website that you can find at the end of this presentation. General matrix matrix multiplication requires blocking that can be done in various ways. The best solution in the current software stack for high performance libraries is GoToBlas and could be found also in the Bliss by Flame. That is the top branch here. The choice is the same as what I independently arrived at for the linear algebra processor. At the bottom of the food chain, inherently matrix multiplication can be composed of series of rank 1 updates. Rank 1 update is outer product of two vectors. As you can see at top, a column of A and a row of B are multiplied by each other and updating a block of C. A loop of rank 1 updates both parallelizes computations and reduces memory traffic. The reason is because columns of A and rows of B are streamed and there is fully locality for elements of C. As you can see in the picture, a block of A is multiplied by block of B to update a block of C. Our goal was to design a linear algebra core that is optimized for rank 1 update. The key features are distributed control, distributed memory, and broadcast buses as means of streaming data. Each PE contains a multiply accumulate unit, a part of control logic, local memories for blocks of B and A, and connections to the row and column broadcast buses. Let's have a top-down view of the memory hierarchy for matrix matrix multiplication. We can decompose the problem into series of blocked matrix multiply that contain a column panel of A and a row panel of B to update a block of C. We call this rank K update. The simulator is going to focus on top of the red line, which we will cover in the next slide. The version of the simulator that we present as the first version focuses on one of these rank K update operations. The panel of A is further blocked and each block can be uh, fit in the aggregate local store of the PEs in a single core. A block panel multiplication updates a panel of C. Further, a block of A is multiplied by a tinier panel of B to update its corresponding panel of C. The little panels of B and C are streamed into and out of the core, and the block of A is owned by the memories in the core. We can see how the computation boils down to a series of rank 1 updates. Each element of the 4x4 block of C is owned by a single PE and is stored in its accumulator of the MAC unit. Therefore, a series of rank 1 updates updates a block of C. The data stored in the core is in 2D round-robin fashion. 
We can see how a 16 by 16 block of A is distributed among the P's depicted on the right with different colors in the right. So each P has a different color. Uh, the block of A is distributed among the P's. As we can see, the first row of the P is on the first row of A, the fifth row of A, the ninth row of A, and the thirteenth row of A. And the first column of P is owns the first column of uh, A, and the first column of uh, P is owns also the fifth column of A, and so on and so forth. With this distribution, having a 2D round robin distribution among the PEs, we show how two iterations of rank 1 update are performed in the core. The first column of A owned by first column of PEs and first row of B owned by first row of PEs are distributed through row and column broadcast buses respectively. A local multiply accumulate operation is performed to update the 4x4 block of C. In the next iteration, same operation is performed, but this time for the second column of A and second row of B fetched from second column and row of P's respectively. An updating block of C. The overall view is presented here. The ver this version of the simulator provided uh, SAC accurate implementation for the top three level of this pyramid. We tried to keep the variable consistent with the paper so it is easy to modify or understand the logic in the simulator. Please don't hesitate to give us feedback on this version so we can improve the quality of our software for the coming versions. My information and further evidence on other operations on the same architecture could be found in my website and uh, you can contact me with any concerns. Thank you.